three times in these sentences right so i told you that pronouns are the words used for nouns you need to understand pronouns are basically the words that are used to avoid repetition of nouns you need to understand one thing that pronouns are the words that are used to avoid repetition of a noun see how they are being used to avoid repetition of nouns if i talk about this sentence i'll change it in a sense garima is my friend she lives in hisar she is very beautiful now initially on the first manner this uh, garima was coming for three times in the same sentence right now in this sentence we have removed garima and we have added or we have replaced it with the she so pronouns are basically the words that are used to avoid repetition of nouns or you can say pronouns are the words which are used for nouns right let us for noun that are used in place of noun that reminds my friend that my lives in delhi that my beautiful so we can say that avoid to avoid the repetition of noun in a sentence pronoun is used okay now comes the type of noun in total there are 10 types of noun and one by one in the coming set upcoming sessions one by one we are going to learn each and every particular noun right so the 10 types of nouns are personal noun possessive noun reflexive noun emphatic noun demonstrative noun relative sorry uh, i am wrong i was speaking wrong personal pronouns possessive pronouns reflexive pronouns emphatic pronouns demonstrative pronouns relative pronouns distributive pronouns reciprocal pronoun indefinite pronoun and finally interrogative pronoun so these are the 10 types of pronoun right and the first type is personal pronoun okay so you need to understand that if i talk about let us first consider personal pronoun if i talk about personal pronoun that personal pronoun includes three types of persons what i'm saying i'm saying that personal pronoun includes three types of persons in total in english there are three types of persons first person second person third person right in total in english there are three types of persons first person second person and third person now let us understand first who is first person here first person is the one the one who is speaking the one who is speaking is known as the first person for example right now who is speaking i am speaking so i is the first person here and if i talk about the plural form of i then the plural form of i is now comes the second person second person in english is the one who is listening right 
again talking about the current situation i am the one who is speaking and you people i mean the students or you are the one who are listening here so second person is you and plural of you is also you third person is about whom the first third person is the one about whom the first and second person are talking currently discussing the situation i and you are talking about what pronoun pronoun is what non living thing so if pronoun is it right and if i talk about uh, females and males then he and she so first person is the one who is speaking right now i am speaking so i is the first person and its plural form is b second person is the one who is listening you are listening students are listening and the plural form of you is remains you a uh, third person is about whom the first and second person are talking so we are talking about what pronoun pronoun is what pronoun is a non living thing so pronoun will become it here and for males and females he and she will be used i and we first person you second person he she it will be third person person pronouns these pronouns do not three persons of the english first person the one who is speaking second person the one who is listening third person about whom the first and second person are talking i we you he. oh yes they is the plural form of he she it now one is subjective case here and one is mentioned as objective case here now you need to understand what is the difference between subjective case and objective case i am saying there are two cases for person pronouns one is subjective case objective case uh okay i subjective me objective we subjective us objective he subjective he objective she subjective her objective they subjective them objective it subjective it objective now first we need to understand what is the difference between subjective case and objective case of a pronoun which at which positions do we need to use the subjective case and at which positions do we need to use the objective case see ram is my favorite student right this is a sentence another sentence is i like ram so in total there are two sentences on uh, your screen so if i talk about nouns in both the sentences then in first sentence is ram is the noun and in second sentence ram is the noun now we all know that when we frame a sentence we all frame a sentence in the form of subject plus verb plus object right the sentence starts with a subject it is being followed by a verb then the verb is in turn followed by the object now ram is a subject here and in this sentence ram is object to uh to replace subjective place of noun subjective case of pronoun will be used to replace objective case of noun objective pronoun will be used what i am saying to replace subjective case of noun we use subjective case of pronoun 
and to replace objective case of noun we use objective pronoun like uh, instead of noun what we'll say subjective case we'll take he he is my favorite student i like ram instead of ram because ram is object we'll take what we'll take objective case i like is it clear to you people so personal pronouns are two forms or are two types of uh, uh, sorry subjective and objective cases are two forms of person pronoun i me we us you will remain you she he it her him it they them is that clear to everyone okay okay so now my favorite part of the session has come find errors if any he you and i shall go to the market okay she and you have made a beautiful drawing i and she shall do this work three sentences are there again find errors if any i you and she have committed a crime you and he have done this disobedience we you and they will go to market in the evening right find errors if any you he and i shall go to market in evening oh so all these sentences are again repeated fine okay so we were on slide 7 now listen very carefully what i am saying i am saying that if all the three persons if all the three persons are present in a single sentence if all the three persons are present in a single person sentence which three persons first person second person and third person okay and if then in that case then in that case the order of persons should be second person third person and first person let me repeat first then try to understand this process i am saying if all the three persons that are present in english language that is first person second person third person if all the three persons are present in a single sentence then in that case the order of persons should be second person third person and first person now the question arises why this happen why not the first why uh, can't we consider the first person earlier than all in the person so see these rules are based on english manners all of these rules are based on english manners which we will be discussing in the second part of the rule right so second person first third person first first person last he you and i shall go to the market he is what third person you is what second person i is what first person so if i talk about the first sentence then the given order is 3 to 1 but we need 2 3 1 so the correct sentence will be you he and i shall go to the market in the evening clear second sentence is she and you have made a beautiful drawing okay 
so it is not necessary that all the three persons should be there if two of them there if uh, suppose if like uh, second person is present and first person is also present in a single sentence then in that sentence also the order will remain same always you need to write second person first and first person on a later right she and you have made a beautiful thing so it is third and it is two so it is wrong the correct should be two and three you and she have made a beautiful drawing i and she shall do this work again wrong she and i shall do this work right you he and i shall go to market in the evening you and she have made have made a beautiful drawing she and i shall do this work okay is this clear now moving on to the next side you will get clear with all the details i am saying now if all the three persons or if two of them are present in a single sentence and and if something negative is being talked about if there are three persons in a sentence all of them are present in a single sentence then if something negative is being talked about now the question arises that why we are talking here about negative right so by negative what we mean we mean if a mistake is done in the sentence if somebody is asking for apology why we ask for apology because we have done something wrong if a crime is being done if this or obedience is there all these things are negative generally in english we call negative sentences to the sentences which contain not in them the sentences which have not in them are known as negative sentences but now here what happens is here negative means any particular negative topic topic like if you have done some mistake or if you are apologizing for something which means you have done something wrong if a crime has have happened in the sentence if you are performing disobedience in the sentence then in that case the order of the three persons will be first person wait crime mistake apology disobedience etc right then the order will be first person second person and third person now let me answer to all your queries you must be having a doubt in your mind that why is this happening why there are different rules for different things see these rules are based on english manners one thing which you need to remember now if i talk about something positive if i am saying we will be getting higher grades or if i am saying we are going to the market today or if i am saying we will be watching a movie today we will watch a movie today right if i am saying such things to you then first you need to understand that in that case how we are showing manners for something positive i first consider the person to whom i am talking i'll give preference to the person to whom i am talking then i will talk about the person who is not present there and then i will consider myself see listen i'm repeating if i'm talking about something positive then first i'll be giving preference i'll be giving priority i will give to the person who is listening that then i will consider the person who is not present there 
and then in the end i'll consider myself so that's why your order is second person third person and first person one thing second thing is what second thing says that if something see if something negative happens then why the order is changed the reason is when something negative happens i the one who is speaking will accept his mistake first then he will say to the one who is listening that you are also wrong he'll consider him then the one who is not present there will get consider you getting my point when there is wrong i accept that i am wrong then i say that you are wrong then i consider the one who is not present here that he is or she is also wrong but when something positive is there i said you are good and the one who is not present there he is also good then i am are you getting my point for positive things the priority uh, terms are different and for negative things the priority order is different right so if something if all the three uh, personal pronouns are present in a single sentence and if something negative is being talked about then in that case your order should be first person second person and third person i you and she have committed a crime we are talking about a negative thing here so the correct sentence is given i am accepting that i have committed a crime then i am saying that you have also committed a crime then i am saying for a girl who is not present there that she has also committed a crime so the correct order will be i you and she now you and he have done this disobedience now again this obedience is also a negative thing so you and he have done this obedience two three persons are present first is second person and then the third person we you and they will go to the market and they think now this is not a negative sentence this is a positive sentence so your order should be what second third and first so your order correct sentence be you they and we will go to the market in the is that clear to you see these are very basic rules you need to understand manners first if you are wrong accept your mistake first then to someone who is listening and then to some point some to point someone towards the one who is not present there right but when we are talking about something positive prioritize the one who is listening consider the one who is not present here and in the end consider yourself is that clear to everyone i hope you people are getting this concept you he and i shall go to the market in the evening you and she have made a beautiful drawing she and i shall do this work i you and she have committed a crime you and he have done the disobedience we you and they will go to the market in the evening all the same rules are mentioned here it's singular form oh sorry i forget to tell you one thing there the two previous rules which we learned i have forgotten to consider the third sentence yes i made a mistake here the two rules in which we learned the order as second third and one and first second and third both of rules exist both the rules exist for singular forms of noun both the rules exist for singular form of noun now if all the three nouns are present in a single sentence in plural form
what i'm saying if all the three nouns are present in a single sentence in plural form then why whether you are talking about something positive or you are talking about something negative your order will remain same and your order will remain first person second person and third person i am saying that the earlier two rules the initial two rules which we learned today are for singular form of nouns of pronouns now if all the three pronouns are present in a single sentence in plural form then whether you are talking about positive and whether you are talking about a negative thing your order will be first person second person third person now the question arises where the manners have gone now see in plural case you are not single now you are plural so you will prioritize the speaker will prioritize himself first then the other person then the one who is not present so the correct sentence is b u and they will go to the market in the evening or you can say b u and they have meet oh major mistake getting my point so in this sense these things are going to take place okay if singular form of all the above mentioned three person come in a single sentence the order of the persons should be second person third person first person rule number 1 if singular form of all the three persons or two out of three person come in a single sentence and some mistake is committed by all the three persons together then the order of the persons should be first sec person second person and third person correct and the third rule says if plural form of three persons comes in a, a single sentence then the order of the three persons should be first person second person third person whether you are talking about something positive or you are talking about something negative okay okay she is as beautiful as her he is more intelligent than me i knew know you as much as her instead of her right uh, let's change the sentence and let's write instead of it she is as hard working as right okay so can you uh, could you people figure out is it possible for you to figure out what is a similar thing in all the three sentences what is actually happening in all the three sentences she is as beautiful as her he is more intelligent than me i know you as much as her what is a common thing which you are going to find out in all the three sentences in all the three sentences basically what is happening comparison is taking place here comparison is taking place here now you need to remember one thing always and always while comparing comparing while making the comparison a subject is always compared
two subject one thing and an object is always compared to an object what i have written on the screen i have written that a subject is always get compared to subject and an object is always compared to an object if i talk about the first sentence she is as beautiful as her we all know she is what subject her is object so we cannot compare a subject to an object so she okay i have changed the sentence she is as hard working as him she is what she is subject here but do you think he him is subject no him is an object but we cannot compare a subject to an object we can always compare a subject to a subject so what will do she is as hard working as i know i know maybe you are feeling very strange that we all in communication language we always say she is as hard working as me or she is as hard working as him but this is wrong grammatically correct is the same sentence which is on your screen she is as hard working as he right he is more intelligent than me now he is more again we are comparing two persons he is subject here so subject would be compared to a subject he is more intelligent than i i is also the subject i know you as much as her what do you think do you think the given sentence is correct i know you as much as her do you people think it is a correct sentence yes it is a correct sentence because i am not getting compared with anyone i know you as much as her so you two persons are getting compared i am not getting compared here i am saying i know you i am the one who is knowing right i know you as much as her equal to her you two people are getting compared now i is the subject here no is the verb here you is the object here so object should be get compared with an object her is what her is also an object is that clear okay whenever there is a comparison between two people then always a subject is compared with the subject and an object is compared with an object fine we have learned this she is as because me was mentioned there so you can use i or her was mentioned there so she should be there he is more intelligent than i i know you as much as her okay find errors if any let i go there there is nothing between he and me everyone was going to school except she everybody but she was present for the cooking class i do not depend on him again you people need to find out the correct kind of errors in these sentences what do you think the following words are always followed by an object these are certain words and all preposition this preposition stuff i have already discussed in subject verb agreement i have already discussed one more time in noun i have already told you that preposition after a preposition always and always objective case is used so 
so what the rule says the rule says the following words are always followed by an objective case what are the words let like there is a pair of between and and it is in conjunction pair except but and all preposition fine let me go there not let i go there let i go there is wrong let me go there there is nothing between he and i is wrong there is nothing between him and me everyone was going to school except she no everyone going was going to school except her everybody but she was present for the cooking class everybody but her was present for the cooking class i do not depend on is that you see you need to learn it very slowly we are not in hurry you need to understand each and every rule each and every step very carefully see the same thing that prepositions always take an objective uh, case after them we have read it in subject verb agreement we have read it in noun and we are using it till now you can only remember such minute things you can only remember these details if you are going to listen to the faculty to the teacher very carefully right so preposition always take objective case after them these are the noun that show possession possession okay we all know that anything that belongs to us anything that belongs to me is my possession anything that belongs to you is your possession right so second type of pronoun is possessive pronoun these are the pronoun that show possession right so there are two types one is possessive adjective and the another one is possessive pronoun right my is possessive as possessive adjective mine is pronoun our ours your yours their theirs his will remain his and her will become hers see we are not going i am not going to tell you any use of possessive adjective here but why i have mentioned in this sheet possessive adjective because you need to remember one thing that you need to learn the difference between similar words you need to do what you need to learn the difference between similar words possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns are different my our your their his her are possessive adjectives mine ours yours theirs his hers are possessive pronouns possessive adjective is used with nouns we cannot use possessive pronouns with nouns okay you need to and this is a very normal thing which i have written here you need to understand it in very basic forms pronouns are used for what pronouns are used to replace what so pronoun cannot be used with the noun right because pronouns are used to replace nouns so we cannot use pronouns with nouns one thing adjectives are used to qualify now So adjectives are used before nouns. Adjectives are used with. So this is what written it. Possessive adjective is used with noun. We cannot use possessive pronoun with nouns. Your book. Your book is wrong. Yours is what? Yours is possessive pronoun. Book is what? Book is name. Your book was of blue color, which I lost during vacation. Wrong. Your book was of blue color, which I lost during vacation. Correct.
possessive pronouns can be used as a subject and object of the sentence see i'm writing here you need to understand one thing wherever there is written like possessive see you need to remember one small thing first possessive pronoun is equal to possessive adjective plus what i have written here possessive pronoun is equal to possessive adjective plus noun you need to remember one thing now my car is a beautiful car my is what possessive adjective car is what now and possessive adjective plus noun is possessive pronoun so let's check what is possessive pronoun for my mine mine is a beautiful car you need to understand both the sentences are correct if you say my car is a new car it is correct if you say mine is a new car it is correct now if i talk about the sentence mine is a beautiful car then the subject of the sentence is so and by this we can say possessive pronoun can be used as the subject right or you can consider another example her house is a beautiful house her is what her is adjective house is what house is noun adjective plus noun can be replaced with possessive pronoun has it being used as a subject of the sentence subject of the sentence Then similarly the same thing can happen in objective case as well see she has lost my kit as well as your kit my is the possessive adjective here kit is the noun here your is the possessive adjective here kit is again noun here one thing you is it clear in your mind okay now either you can replace this either you can say she has lost mine as well as your kit one thing mine is what subject here or you can say she has lost sorry object here or you can uh, uh, change it she has lost my kit as well as so in both the cases these words are behaving as object and thus we can say possessive pronouns can be used as a subject of the sentence and can be used as the object of the sentence okay the third and very important rule is apostrophe is not used with possessive pronouns apostrophe is but we have already learnt it in noun and case session apostrophe s is used to show possession right when possessive pronouns are already showing possession then apostrophe cannot be used with them you can't write it in a way your space this is wrong your space right always use possessive adjective with gender okay this i'm not this leave this rule i'm not going to tell you now Uh, the reason is that we will be reading the same rule when we will be reading verb. With the following verbs, possessive pronoun can't be used. So there is an ex. Uh, there is an 
an exception for these given words for these certain words that with these words with these particular words we cannot use possessive pronoun right separation excuse pardon leave table mention cite report there is no other option except learning them right so with these words possessive pronouns cannot be See if I write a sentence. There is a void after his separation. Void means a blank space. Now his is what possessive pronoun, so the sentence is wrong. Correct sentence is there is a void after separation from. So this is how you need to remember it, right? Okay. Now let us learn some new words today, starting with one word substitution. Okay, a person who deliberately sets fire to a building. A person who the uh, who not unknowingly but intentionally sets fire to a building is known as arsonist. Is known as arsonist. Okay, a person who sells and arrange cut flowers. A person who, uh, you know, who make the bouquets, right? Who sells flowers. The particular person is known as florist. A person who compiles dictionaries. You need to know that dictionaries are also known as lexicon. Lexicon. Lexicon means dictionary. So a person who compiles dictionary is the one who is known as lexicographer. Lexicographer. The scientific study of the structure and disease of teeth. Okay. The study in which we mainly study the uh, structure of uh, teeth and the disease that are there that are grounded in the teeth is known as odontology. Odontology, a building containing tanks of five fish, tanks of live fish of different species. Not a building, you can say a glass jar. I think containing tanks of live fish of different species. You must have seen the large glass boxes, small glass boxes, and sometimes a bit large, but not as large as pond boxes in which live fish are there. Fishes are there of different species. That particular is known as aquarium. A place or scene of activity, debate or conflict. Okay, a field of fight, a place where you can debate, where there is a conflict. That is known as arena. That is known as arena. An institution for the care of people who are mentally ill. There are certain people who are mentally ill. Who are mentally not stable, mentally retarded people, and the institution that take care of such people are asylum. The institution is known as asylum, a storehouse for thresh grain, a storehouse to hold, to collect, to keep the grain is known as granary, a small kitchen or room at the back. Of a house used for washing dishes and another dirty household work. Okay, there is a small space sometimes at the back of the kitchen or at the back of the room, which is used to do dirty like washing clothes or washing dishes. That particular place is known as scullery. A large tall cupboard in which clothes may be hung or stored is known as uh, your basic wardrobe mirror a wardrobe. The scientific study of the behavior, structure, psychology, classification, and distribution of animals. A person who intentionally a quick revision. Let's have a quick revision of it. A person who intentionally sets fire to building is known as what? Arsonist. Who sells and arranges cut flowers. The one who arranges cut flowers. Florist. The one who made the dictionaries. 
lexicographer the scientific study of the structure and diseases of teeth odontology a building containing tanks of five live fish of different not building the correct word should be glass jar aquarium a place where a debate or a fight or a conflict takes place arena an institution that takes care of the mentally ill people mentally unstable people asylum a storehouse a place where we hoard grains where we store them granary a small kitchen at the back of the house or a room where which is used for your dirty works like washing clothes or cleaning utensils is known as scullery a large tall cupboard in which clothes may be hung or stored is known as wardrobe the scientific study of behavior structure physiology classification and distribution of animals is known as zoology so these are your 11 12 words which we have learned today we have learned the basics of pronoun to certain level you need to remember each and every detail english is not something that in pronoun is a very different and noun is a very different no each and every part is interconnected with the other part in some manner you keep on revising the previous sessions you keep on learning the new things with me and this is how we are going to crack the exam right so in next session we are going to take the pronoun further till then bye bye